Hello and welcome to Season 2 of Prison Architect here on the channel where we will be selling today our first prison and using the proceeds to make a bigger and better one, getting that off the ground. So if you did not watch the uh, the first series, suffice to say this is what we ended up with. Uh, I think we did a, a decent job for it being our first playthrough, or my first playthrough in several years of the game. Uh, we didn't do everything, so to speak, but we did get a pretty decent amount of stuff done and I think we could be pretty happy with this, but... All that matters is the sell price right now, and it's $310,000. We're going to sell it and immediately go into the new prison creation screen. Uh, going to do male prison again. Orange classic uniforms are perfectly fine, although we do have some other interesting ones. Uh, I don't have all of these um, DLCs, so we can't go into that. But um, we've got to talk about the warden. The last time we used, I think it was... Uh, was, was it the lobbyist, I think is what, I, what I'd what i picked. But then I found this guy, this J.W. Periwinkle. And here's what his description says. The text is pretty small, so I'll read it to you. Warden Periwinkle says he was a sapper in the war. He never says which war, specifically, but he certainly knows everything about digging tunnels. And guard dogs will have a 50% chance of fully uncovering any tunnels they detect, which seems extremely useful, given the propensity of our prisoners to dig tunnels in this playthrough. So I'm going to pick that guy. He looks kind of cool. Like a, uh, <laughs> he's got like the uh, the green beret kind of uh, headwear on. Uh, anyway, so we're going to do all dogs because that's objectively the best option to have all these uh, all these different dogs. We can have little uh, Pomeranians or whatever running around being guard dogs, I think is objectively hilarious. And we're going to change into medium world size, going to get rid of the starting grant altogether because, again, we have $310,000 to play with, so no sense starting with borrowed money. Uh, everything else I'm going to leave exactly the same. With the exception of the DLC, I'm going to turn on Criminally Insane, uh, prisoner transfers, and then prisoner aging. Uh, I don't have, I don't think, I don't want to mess with the gangs and the perfect storms and weather and island stuff or anything. Maybe in a future playthrough if we get there. But uh, for right now, I believe we are looking good to go ahead and start with the, just these. Make sure everything else is good to go. So hit play and here we go. Here is our huge plot of land. Well, huge relative to the uh, original one. Going to go ahead and hit pause. Let's take a look at what we have here. We have a really, really large, again, compared to what we had before. And one thing we're going to really want to make sure we do early is secure the outside of the prison. We have a couple options. Like I said last time, uh, the perimeter wall is the best one. But to do this entire plot of land, it's going to cost us almost $100,000. We have the cash, but that doesn't mean we have to spend it that way. So I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to opt for either this fence or just a regular brick wall. But given the the incredible cheapness of the grass, the grass under fence, uh, I think that is going to be our best possible option. That's going to give us a 148 by 118 uh, fence structure, which means the inside is a little bit smaller than that. And since these guys are going to have a uh, desire to collect contraband from the outside that their buddies hurl over the fence, we're going to make a fence inside the fence. Uh, I don't know what the exact distance is that the game wants you to uh, separate them so they don't get contraband thrown over the fence. If you know, please let me know in the comments uh, because I legitimately do not remember what it was. But I'm going to start off with a five tile offset. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, and then start here. And that's going to give us the option to either uh, go on the other side of this, but I don't think we need to worry about that because they're not going to be getting over here anyway. So what we will do is we will, first of all, make sure that we have the correct uh, correct count down here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five spaces in between. And this red on the right where it's built over the road just means it's not going to build a fence, and that's what we want. So we'll go ahead and do that. And that's going to give us a five wide space all the way around here that we can have guards patrol when we get there. And then, of course, they can continue down this side if they so choose. But I will go ahead and close this off and this off as well. And we will cap it off with large, actually not large jail doors because this is a five wide. I'll just do singles. That's fine. They're not really going to have to be coming in and out that much. And we might have some other access Anyway, but that's going to give them something to do pretty nicely to start off with. And then before we unpause, I'm going to turn off intake because uh, they're just going to bring in everybody that's available, old school style, uh, and we don't have anywhere to put them. So we're just going to hit close. And there we go. Unpause. So now we need to talk about what we're going to do 
starting the prison off. I kind of liked last time how we had our admin building in the center. We didn't really utilize it to its full potential, so I think we've got a nice opportunity there to uh, do that a little bit better this time around. So let's take a look and see where the center of our inside is looking like, and I think... It's uh, going to be right in the middle of the E and the S in deliveries, I believe. Let's uh, let's take a moment to check. So I will start here. Uh, let's see, that's uh, 53 meters from... Uh, in, well, actually, 53 meters from the E going up. Going down is also... Oh, that's 51. So it is. It is right in between the E and the S, so that's perfect. We're going to just need to put in... A uh, double wide door. I'm going to leave a little bit more space for deliveries just so we can have a uh, something here. So this will be one, two, three, four, and then the sidewalk here. Let's leave another four. One, two, three, four. Put that guy there. And that's going to be the start of our admin building. And we have access to the planning tool, which uh, conveniently removes our door that we placed down. So I will just do a... Uh, a replacement right there. Yes, I know they're facing the wrong way, but this is literally just a placeholder so we can visualize how the rest of this is going to look in the planning tool while our workmen go ahead and build the fence. So, our admin building, we have to have 4x4 four four for the offices, and I believe the staff rooms also have to be 4x4. Four four. Let's just check that real quick. Uh, yes, so we will need at minimum uh, space for a staff room and space for, I think, three or four offices until we get into the mid game, we might as well go ahead and plan for it now. One, because we have the money. Two, because it's kind of dumb not to, I think. So we're going to want to again go into planning. And we have all of this space right here. If I want to have a corridor uh, for our admin building, no, I don't want that wall there. Uh, but if I want it to be four wide to reduce crowding, I think that would work nicely. And then we can kind of have admin offices on, I guess we'll call this the north side. And then on the south side, we can have other things like uh, reception and parole, visitation, etc. So what we're going to want to do here, I think, leave a four wide space then have a stub wall just so we can visualize what we're doing. And then four more for offices. Uh, extend this out for four offices because we can always just you know have a, another hallway to come up here but four by four is going to give us right here one office another office if we leave uh say three wide for a hallway that gives us another office here and another office here so our total width of this building is 25 and then uh center of this is tr uh, 13 so it would be 26 if we duplicated this on the bottom so the idea that I had before was uh, staff room here, office, office, and then this could be another room, either a second staff room or security like we had done before. If we uh, check and see what the minimum requirements of that one, it is four by four. So no problems there. And I think this works, but the, the change that we made, of course, was to have this uh, three wide hallway here and not like just a huge cube, which means this is going to be modular. We can just expand this as we need in the future. But for right now, this will be everything we need. And this will work out just fine. So we'll have that there. And on the bottom side, uh, what did I say? This was 13. Yeah, so we'll make sure this is set to 13 all the way. It doesn't have to be symmetrical, but uh, I, at this point, you you know what I'm about. <laughs> you got a pretty good idea what's going on here. So I'm going to turn this thing right here into our reception holding cell area uh, leave a provision for a hallway and then right here let's take a look at the other rooms uh, that we're going to be able to use eventually always want to be forward minded uh, parole has to be five by five and then visitation is also somewhere in here if i can uh there we go there is no requirements for the visitation except that it's indoors so we can use that to our advantage five by five for the parole means uh, that it has to be at least this size space. I guess I can, uh, <laughs> I guess I could just do one of these numbers. This would be a parole room. It's five by, what is this? Nine. It's a little, little bit large for parole, but that doesn't really matter because we can just 
kind of make a, a little angle thing here. So this could be an interesting, um, interesting vegetation room, depending on how we want to orient it. I don't know what we're going to have access to to check our stuff out just right now, but we'd search uh, visitor booths. Yeah, so we actually could, if we made this just a tiny bit bigger, we could have this whole thing just be a, a straight line of these booths, one-on-one -on -one for the prisoners, visitors, or we could just, you know, put a put a bunch of these things in. Actually, here, 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 and here is a... Uh, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good visitor table setup. We might just leave it like that. At least for right now, we can always repurpose it later. But that'll be parole. That'll be visitation. We obviously can't do all of that at the very beginning. But if we plan for it, we're going to be in good shape. And then we have our reception. It does not have any requirements for size, so that's good. And then the holding cell uh, does have a minimum requirement of five by five. Not a big deal. That should be pretty easy for us to accomplish in this. Uh, space here we could just literally do the same exact thing we've already done make a five by five for the holding cell and have reception here but there's no reason necessarily to have it like that uh, also the holding cell you're not going to want to have it be isolated so i think what we will do we'll do one two three four five just put this right down the side here and we've created reception here as long as we have space uh, what did it what did it say it was required uh has to be holding sauce to be enclosed uh indoors <laughs> toilet bench five by five all right we know we can do that reception wise has to have an office desk a table and a chair it doesn't have to be big but if you have a lot of prisoners coming in at once then you might want the extra space but right now we're, we're probably not going to be intaking that many at one time so it's probably going to be just fine they arrive handcuffed anyway it's not like they can really do that much to you so, to start out with, I think this will be good for our admin building. Are they still building the fences? They are, and that, that is A-OK. -okay. They got plenty of uh, plenty of work to get done. So, why don't we go ahead and let's say build plans. But if I do this without having a, uh, without having a what do you call it, in place, uh, that's not going to go well. So, let's just go ahead and build our uh, foundations here. And then, after the foundations are built, we can build the plans. But that's going to be a very good start for our admin building. Uh, you'll notice that we did not, in this initial setup, put in anywhere for the, uh, the water pumps or the uh, electrical substation, whatever the thing calls it, generators, power station. So that is something else we're going to have to put in, uh, the physical plant, if you will, of our prison. We've got a couple options. Uh, this is going to be big enough. We're going to have to have multiple instances of that. Unlike the last prison, it was very small. But big prison's going to have to have a lot of those. So to start out with, we probably probably want to just have a couple of dedicated buildings just for those. Uh, if you remember, the power station is a 3x3 three three item. And you have to have a room all the way around the side uh, to put the capacitors in. So probably just for the sake of, you know, doing things that make sense. Probably we'll want to leave a little bit of space around. I like having a, uh, a three wide corridor. Actually, we can plan this because we have, we have technology. So if we treat this as the edge of the building three, right? Like so, and we have, uh, to have the space I want inside, we're going to have to have nine. This will end up being nine. So now inside we have space for the uh, the thing itself and then the capacitors around that and then a walkway around that. We don't need to have the walkway, uh, but I think that looks fun. So we might as well go ahead and do that that way. And there's going to be ample space around there if we do the same exact thing with a 9x9. Nine nine. This can be for power. This can be for water. Again, there's no specific reason to do it this way outside of I like things to be uh, matched up nicely. So we'll go ahead and we'll do this here, this here, and of course, uh, to get inside, we'll have to have staff doors. And that should be A-OK. -okay. So unlike the previous time when we had this set up, uh, I don't have a central storage area in between, but we'll get that sorted, we'll get it figured out. We do have our deliveries right here, and wow, look, there, <laughs> there's a whole lot of this. So I'll tell you what we'll do, is we'll go into four times speed, let them uh, start working on this, and that should be that. 
And since we have so much money, we can actually go ahead and hire a whole bunch of workmen. Let's get 20 of these guys. Oh, I can't. I can only have 19 because that's the maximum daily budget. So we'll let them build. Let them build what they need to build. And then uh, we'll think about scaling that back just a touch. So while they're doing that, we're going to have time. Uh, they're still... Oh, did they just finish? I guess they did. Uh, just finished building our double fence here. So of course we still have uh, gaps right here, which uh, eventually we're going to replace with the uh, road barriers. But we don't have guards yet, so we don't have anybody to unlock these. We'll get guards, we'll get that taken care of, but we will eventually put road barriers here and here and then create kind of like an airlock, except it's, well, not an airlock. You get the idea. But we'll create a secure zone with a guard station in here at all times so that nobody can get past them, well, at least without getting tased. But uh, I digress. That's looking good there. Uh, we'll go ahead and put in our large jail door on the side here as well to get passage through. And now uh, we can build our plans because those have the walls. Um, oh, we can actually... Well, this is actually really cool. I haven't used this before. Concrete wall, brick wall, perimeter wall, barred wall, white wall, tiled wall, wall, parentheses, rusty, wall, parentheses, slum, derelict, overgrown, art deco, cushioned, wall, classy, parentheses, burgundy, oriental, green, blue stripes, yutani, decayed, minimum security, medium security, maximum security, super maximum security, death row security. Why are there so many options for this? I just want to build a wall. All right, brick walls it is. Um, cool. So we'll do that. Come in here and build the brick walls. And then, ah, the automatic lights once again have uh, <laughs> have have struck. So I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to dismantle all of these and we will manually place them. I know that was uh, one of those things that I guess kind of became a meme in the comments was that I can't do the lights. Well, I don't like them. I don't like it when they're ugly. So that's that's why that was uh, the way it was. But we will go ahead and uh, get these offices in place, ready to go for future proofing purposes. I will have to put a uh, door not in the center here, but that's going to work out uh, just fine, I think. Uh, this will be a jail door. Uh, this hallway will be a jail door. This is parole. That can be a staff door because there's always going to be somebody there. That there, that there, that there, that there, that there, that there. Slowly losing my sanity. Um, but we'll put the uh, holding cell door here. So it's kind of inside. And now we've got all this space. Uh, I can take this off at four times speed. Uh, just we're not completely blowing through all of our time. But now we have these 42 lights. We have to decide where they're going to go. And I'm just going to uh, pop those in like so, kind of in a general uh, general grid here. No specific reason to do it the way I did it. That's just the way I did it, and that's uh, probably fine. Oh, I don't, I don't want to put four of these in here, but I guess I could. There's no harm in that. You want the parole room to be lit up nicely, and then we can do kind of the same thing here. Nice and bright visitor room. And then these guys do the same thing here. All right, so now we have lights set up there. Uh, I will do nice bright lights in the, uh, the, what do you call it? Yep, that's exactly what it's called. Utility areas. Okay, so that's going to be power I set up here. Uh, capacitors, we have this one, but since we have the cash, we might as well go for the capacitor max plus and make sure... Oh, can I not put it overlapping with the light, or is that because... Wait, what's up with that? I don't, I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see, because it's not going to want me to do that. But let's go ahead and lay our rooms out. Now uh, we're going to have uh, office here, 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 and here. Uh, we'll go ahead and... Ooh, do we want to do... Do we want to do the fancy, fancy desk for the warden? Mm, that is fancy. We can have a nice imposing... What is that? What are those sounds they're making? That's kind of... Mm. <laughs> All right. Maybe they're tired. That That's like the... Uh, that's like the angry dad... Oh, how did I do that? Okay, that's like the angry dad tired noises. Anyway. 
fancy chair office. And now I need to have a fancy filing cabinet right here. And then that's going to be a very nice, very nice warden's office. And yes, we can give them the grandma lamp. <laughs> so many of you seem to enjoy. So we do, uh, we still have the overhead light. Let's not get it twisted here. But the light fancy, I can't actually rotate this, but we'll put two of those right there because why not? And then we'll go ahead and hire our warden. Which I can't because I have too many workers. All right. Well, uh, I guess that is a problem. We'll have to uh, we'll have to install a couple more of these things and then get rid of those guys. But water pumping station goes here. Uh, capacitor max plus. Now I can put one of these in. I guess I just didn't want to let me do that until we had a power station in place. But that will work out okay. Um, oh, you know the only bad thing about having the four wide hallway here is this is a. Uh, not going to let me put anything in the center because there is no center. So we'll just have to ignore that and move on with our lives. And uh, just put these cables in like so. I don't know that we're going to be able to reach everywhere. We might have to put some sub cables in or branch cables, whatever you want to call them. But that should work out okay. Let these guys do their job. We can assign the rest of these rooms and take care of everything. So we'll make the staff room right here. And we'll have to put in a sofa and a drink machine. All sorts of good stuff. So where's our? Uh, actually, no, no. We're a bougie prison. We can have uh, we can have fancy sofas in the staff room. Why not? I guess there's not fancy sofas, but there are brown sofas. Objectively, a better color, at least for my uh, my opinion. And then drink machines. I really should have used the search function of this a lot sooner. But drink machine here, drink machine here. That'll work out just fine. Uh, this was going to be. Our parole, which I guess is going to be nice to have right off the bat. Uh, visitation, we haven't researched yet, so this will just kind of be empty for the time being. That is A-OK. -okay. But we do need to get our reception. We're probably going to have to make this bigger at some point, so we'll, we'll get there when we get there. But reception and then a holding cell. Make sure we have everything else set up. What did I do with this? Um, reception, it needs to have the office desk or the desk fancy. But there's no fancy desks in the reception. That's going to be just for a regular regular desk purposes. We'll just shove that up against the wall there, very uninspired. And then we can have our table here, and then we can have a chair sat right there, and that'll be A-OK. -okay. Uh, holding cell gets a little bit more complicated, but it's not going to be that big of a deal because we can just put in... Oh, we got so many bed options. We got bed, parentheses, foam mattress. A semi-comfortable foam mattress, the cheapest foam bed there is, but better than the floor. And it depends on how bad the foam mattress is, honestly. Old bed, regular bed, comfy bed, or bunk bed. Uh, I'm not putting a comfy bed in the holding cell, but I do think our minimum security guys, I'm going to make an effort this playthrough to have very nice cells. Uh, somebody made a comment uh, asking if we could build like a super nice, I, I want to say they said it was like Scandinavian prison or something. Uh, you know, like places where they invest resources into that kind of stuff. So that could be a fun thing for our minimum security guys. And then the maximum security guys, well, they get a, a cell. <laughs> but everybody else, if you're on good behavior and you do your programs, you get to go to the nice cells. Want to incentivize that. But all that being said, we have to have, a, we don't have to have a bed in the holding cell, but just in case guys actually have to stay here for a while, I think it's probably a nice idea to have some beds. Uh, so we'll put six of those up there. Uh, we'll put a bench along the wall. We'll put a couple benches along the wall, actually. And then uh, in the corners here, we could have a uh, pair of toilets. We'll put drains and shower heads just in case. Just so these guys have options to, you know, uh, receive humane treatment. And I think, yeah, if we want this to have lights here, uh, we'll have to have the thing go right into that, uh, just like this also. So that's going to work out pretty well. Before we build anything else, though, let's put another capacitor max plus, put three more of those Make sure we have plenty of space. And now uh, we're probably, since this is this is all taken care of, minus the uh, visitor table, might as well go ahead and... Uh, oh, it's not going to be center. That's going to bug the you-know-what out of me. That's fine. We'll just stick that right there. And we can look at the lawyers, and then the prisoner has his back to us. I guess that's fine. So, admin complex minus the other offices that have not been outfitted yet. 
Uh, we need to hire a warden, but we can't because we don't have the uh, we don't have the daily budget. So let's go ahead and sack some of our workers. Why did we only have 19? I thought okay, no, that's how many I was supposed to have. Let's go down to 10. That should give us pretty good uh, headroom there. Hire our warden. There he is. Fancy. Uh, yeah, the beret is green. Okay, cool. He's got an interesting little mustache there in the eye patch. Good character design. That's pretty cool. Um, so let's go ahead and build normal offices for the plebeians who have to work in the prison. But, you know, I kind of do like having the desk in the middle of the office. It's kind of, uh, kind of snazzy, actually. But they're not going to get the grandma lamps. They're, they're just going to get regular, uh, regular office chairs here. And then we'll put one filing cabinet, and that is it. And they'll have nicely outfitted offices. That's looking good. This, um, oh, there's no canteens. Oh, because we haven't made one of those yet. So now we have all of this in the middle here. We have the opportunity to make a nice, large canteen. Not necessarily saying we're only going to have one, but since we have the cash, we might as well take advantage of our situation and make stuff that's going to be nice. Plus, I want this to be fully functional by the time this episode's done, or else it's going to be not very, very much fun of a video. So we have our three wide space here. Uh, we'll do some landscaping later, but I figured we might as well continue on with that motif and just have, let's see, 26 by, uh, let's actually, uh, let's actually zoom out, see what the, uh, see what the middle of this is. We don't, we don't need to have perfect uh, symmetry in this, I know, but it is cool. It is nice to have a uh, good symmetry here. So we have all this space outside, 130 meters. Um, I, I just want it to be kind of in the general uh, vicinity of the center here. So that's 150 meters wide total. So that 150 is right in the middle of here. I will do the uh, the easy thing of using my fingers on my on my computer monitor to mark the middle there. Let's see, one, two, three here. And then I believe if we go to 28 wide, that should get us more or less in the middle. And I think that's going to be okay. Whoa, I pushed some sort of zoom in button I didn't know existed. But that's going to look just fine. Uh, we'll have our large jail doors here and here. I think I, I think I got that close enough to center for it not to be a problem. We'll just have to uh, figure out what else we're doing there. But uh, this building will be kitchen canteen maybe a classroom or two and later on we can take care of all of the rest of that stuff so we'll get the canteen up and running uh, get that built we can plan out the walls while we're here go ahead and do our uh, four times let those guys get to work uh, probably want to go ahead and get a couple of guards see what we can get away with here in terms of budgeting start out with five and then maybe uh Go ahead and hire a couple cooks, even though we don't have a kitchen for them yet. All right, so I can have two cooks. That works to start out with. Two cooks, five guards should be able to handle all this. Oh, we have to get uh, <laughs> we have to get water pipes in. So I will just have this run all the way through here. That'll be fine. Just run all the way there, and we'll just uh, we'll have this come out this way. I think that can reach. That should be okay. But once this gets constructed, we can uh, go ahead and put our canteen and our kitchen in, which again is not going to have to be that big. For the beginning of this, at least. Don't forget, we have a ton of money, so we we don't have to be shy. We can we can take our uh, take our time, make some uh, interesting looking and thoughtfully designed things. And since this is all fenced in, well, with the exception of our uh, our exit here, that's going to be. All well and good. So let's go ahead, since we have the guards, road barriers. We'll put one there, and we will put one all the way up here. Get those installed. But that is going to mean we have to have guards deployed out here, and we haven't researched that yet, so it might be a little slow. But we can go ahead and start researching security. We have the warden, and then uh, maintenance is going to give us uh, groundskeeping and all that fun stuff. But prison policy, uh, I don't think we want to get to quite yet. Uh, maintenance is probably the next one we want to mess with. And then, of course, all of this uh, once we get that researched. But uh, 
I guess this is already uh, already done. Neat. Cool. So that solves that problem. This is done. So we'll go out of four times mode. And yes, it is time to dismantle all these automatic lights and we'll put them back. Don't worry. We'll get it done. But now we have all the space. So let's think about how we want to have this set up. Um, we're not going to need a huge space for a kitchen, but we will need enough space. Uh, I do like the idea of having this four wide hallway. Uh, better than two wide, I think, in terms of future prisoner volumes uh, transiting through this corridor here. But we don't necessarily have to have this entire thing just be a hallway. We can actually have them go through the canteen. And based on the positioning of everything else, I think we're going to want to have the majority of this left side of the building be the canteen. And then we can have kitchen and we can have other spaces, maybe even storage or something else on this side. And that should be okay. So we just decide how big we want the canteen to be. Uh, we can actually place the objects that are going in the canteen to get an idea of how we want stuff to be set up. So if we had uh, space like right here, just I like to place these each one uh, one bit apart. So we can have table, table, table. And we have that one space on the outside, one space like this. This actually seems like it would be a pretty nice uh, layout here. And then we can have our serving tables, which are, well, until I have it actually marked as a canteen, we're going to have to search for uh, serving tables. Give room like, uh, say, maybe right here and right here. And then have the actual wall to get into the kitchen in here. But this is going to be too big for a kitchen, I think. So uh, we will do one more set of these uh, tables. Actually, I should start with the benches. Right, like so. Table, table, and then serving table. Right, like so. And this, I think, for at least right now, will be a good enough size for a kitchen. And yes, we can go all the way out here if this is also going to be open space or if it's a short enough distance. That's going to give us the opportunity to do a staff door here. And then I will just do one right here as well. Let's mark this as kitchen. If I can remember where the kitchen is, would probably be helpful. Canteen here. There we go. We'll just for right now mark this space as a canteen because it doesn't have to be completely enclosed. Uh, this space as kitchen. Needs a cooker, a fridge, and a sink. Well, we know where we can go to get some of that stuff. Uh, we'll just put cookers here. Just go ahead and start with four of those. Uh, the fridge can go directly in the middle. I don't know which side is the front, which side's the back. It's probably, uh, that's probably the front. I don't think it really matters. Uh, but we'll put the, uh, put the fridge right there in the center. And then sinks, we can go along. Oh, uh, this isn't centered because of this. Oh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn to, uh, <laughs> learn to get over it. I could put just two, no, that's, that's not good kitchen design if your sink bumps up against your, your cooker. I guess they want to call it. But we have those. I guess I could put three sinks in like this. Commercial kitchens is not completely unheard of to have that set up that way. Uh, bins, we don't necessarily have to uh, have to have in here, but I think I will anyway, just for the sake of a little bit of realism. Having that in there. So now we have some space to put some other things in. The one fridge might not be enough. And in fact... You know what? Yeah, let's um, let's just have those on this other wall. And we have space for a fifth cooker if we so desire. Let's not forget we also have to have these connected uh, power cable-wise. So easiest thing to do is just uh, pop that together like that. We'll have to have the water pipe, which is conveniently right here. And we'll have that set up like so. I think that should take care of most of that stuff. Uh, we'll get these guys... Might as well fast forward so they have that space. So then we'll have a holding cell and we'll have a canteen and we'll have a kitchen. It'll all be operational day one, which would be tomorrow when we bring in some prisoners. And uh, keep in mind, the holding cell can hold as many guys as you want. And as long as they're fed and they don't stab each other, then you're probably going to be in okay shape. So we'll let them uh, work on that. We've researched security. We're in the process of researching maintenance. And as soon as we hire a chief, we can start researching all of this stuff. Uh, I believe deployment is going to be the next thing we want to do. Uh, I don't think we have 
budget to hire a chief. We do not, so we are going to have to go ahead. Uh, this is good to go, looks like. Yeah, going to have to go ahead and have some intakes. We can start making some money here. So all available prisoners is 32. That is too many. Capacity is zero. So uh, why don't we, I don't see, close, close to max, super max, criminally insane, and legendary prisoner, exclamation point. Uh, maybe, who knows, we'll, uh, we'll build a legendary prisoner wing at some point in the series, but for right now, uh, day one, episode one, we, we just want to have a functional prison that is going to work. So if we just say bring in only, um, let's say, let's say medium security guys, just close it to minimum, bring in, uh, 10 medium security guys. It's going to give us five grand more money per prisoner, and we can we can just build a basic cell block for these guys, and then we can build the cushy cell block maybe next time. But uh, 10 guys probably would be a good start. We can always bring in more if we need to, but that'll get us in the morning. We'll get those 10 guys, and we should... Have they not installed the lights? I guess they're, uh, I guess they're just standing outside. That's... Uh, okay, that's fine. But we do have our uh, road barriers in place. Uh, I will be able to hire a security chief, guard chief, whatever his name is. There we go. Um, and they'll take care of that stuff. But for right now, I think we're going to be just fine uh, keeping these guys in the holding cell. And we can, uh, I think, we're going to want to, we're going to want to have a, a jail door here as well. Just so our guards can come get them and take them into the, the canteen. But so far, everything's looking pretty good. I don't know why this door is always open but um that's that's fine i guess all right overnight get this thing going uh as far as as far as we know everything is looking okay but we can go ahead and uh check out some grants so basic detention center and administration center always a good first step we don't have a dedicated shower room we don't have a dedicated yard uh, I have since learned the game no longer incentivizes prisoners to go to the yard if one is provided. But uh, this grant requires us to have one, so I guess we will make one uh, along with a dedicated shower room that I will probably not actually use. Just to have that taken care of. Where is... Where is shower? Should it be this difficult for me to find a shower? Probably not. But here it is. Uh, failed shower head. I will install the shower head and then immediately remove it as soon as this is done because I do not like that setup. But that's that's fine. Wh where did my shower head go? Do I have to zoom all the way in on this tiny, pathetic little uh, little thing here? All right, shower head goes there. We'll install that, and then we'll have a we'll have a functional quote unquote uh, shower area. And then just for the sake of having it actually be done, oh, here comes our prisoners. I think. Um, yeah, they're, they're inspecting them for different stuff. Where is the yard? I don't know why I can't ever, they really should have alphabetized these yard. Um, I'm, I'm just going to have this be outside that qualifies as yard. And now that's done. And guess what? We're going to remove it because it's useless. <laughs> they're, they're not going to, they're not going to do it. So we finished both of those. Well, actually, no, we haven't, uh. We haven't hired an accountant. Let's unlock uh, finance. But now that we actually have the dudes, I think I can hire a chief. There we do. All right. We have too many prisoners in our holding cells. Thank you, chief. I already uh, I already was aware of that. And that's fine. But it's time for these guys to eat, or it will be. Um, regime. See, see, I don't I don't like this setup here. We have, let's see, 11 p.m. sleep is fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hours of sleep. That's very nice. Don't need a dedicated shower block if they have their own showers. I'm always going to prefer that. So I think what we will do instead, leave this one hour of lockup. That's fine. Uh, they can shower if they so choose. But then we'll have breakfast, 8 to 10. And then uh, we don't have any work right now, but I will go ahead and set that in place. Lunchtime at 1. Yard block is Functionally useless, so we'll do we'll do three more hours of work, uh, and then dinner can be much earlier than eight p.m. That is that's quite late for dinner, I think. But we'll uh, we'll start it at seven. Then we can have an hour of free time before and after, 
lock up at 10. I think that is a good regime, at least uh, in my opinion. I don't know. Everybody is guaranteed two hours of free time. And if you don't have a job, you have the rest of that as free time. Hopefully that helps uh, make things look a little bit better. These guys have to go to solitary because um, I haven't gotten that set up. But uh, that's over. And they should have lunch here in a moment. Um cooking. They're actually using all of the cookers. I'm surprised. I didn't think they would. I didn't think the demand was going to be that high, but I don't know why. I don't know why these lights are just chilling here. Anyway, um, let's remove the shower head. We'll just dismantle that, and then I will uh, remove that as being a room. Everything's looking pretty decent. We just have to make some cells, because we have no capacity here. So, what we can do is we can build... Pretty much this entire uh, outside right here, I was thinking it would be good to have as cell blocks. But we haven't uh, haven't really figured out exactly how we're going to set those up yet. So let's take a second while they are doing what they're doing. We can use our planning tool. I love that this is a thing. Uh, leave a little bit of space here for, uh, uh, what do you want to call it, circulation. Especially because there's only a door here. Maybe plan out... Uh, the next thing we're going to be working on here. Uh, leave some space outside. Maybe another three right there. So we got a 32 by 28. If we did that in our planning and we wanted to have just regular minimum size cells, which are two by three around the outside, then we'll have to come out uh, this way. That's going to give us one cell, two cell, three cell, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we'll have this larger area in the corner. Uh, so this might not be the best. Oh, I made this a four wide instead of a three. Cool. Well, you know what that means. That means that I still don't have room to put anything else here. All right, but four by three is uh, better than nothing. Although I don't think this is our ideal, uh, our ideal setup. So why don't we come around here and rotate these cells? We can have three, three, three. I th I'm thinking this is going to be closer. If I could do basic arithmetic, this problem. Oh, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> look how perfect that is. Look how perfect that is. That is beautiful, wonderful, fantastic. So we'll just have our regular two by three cells. These are not going to be very highly rated cells, but they don't have to be. They just have to be cells. So we have a wall of cells, wall of cells. And then because of the uh, way this is set up, we're not going to be able to do the same thing here along this wall because then nobody can get into these cells. But... Uh, we can have access to the outside here with our larger jail doors, and then we can have another set of cells. These are set up like so. If I calculated correctly, yeah, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> I should not be this should not be this exci <laughs> excited about how this is laid out. But that is that's going to be something else if we can actually uh, get this set up. Now, these interior interior things probably shouldn't be cells because then I can't put windows on them. And they probably should instead be uh, things we could use like uh, common rooms or whatever. But if we go ahead and just have cells around the outside, like so, that's going to be a pretty nice capacity. That's, let's see, 4, that's 8, that's 16, plus 10. That's 26 prisoner capacity right here without putting anybody in the middle, which, you know, we honestly probably should do. But for right now, for right now that seems to be okay if we want to balance our uh, our cell quality. And then in the inside here, uh, every cell block I think should have at least a common room, uh, maybe some other useful stuff like, well, of course, laundry is going to be important, uh, but dedicated facilities for this block's prisoners so we can keep people separate who are supposed to be separate, not worry about all that other stuff. But we could put other support things like maybe the classrooms, uh, chapel, other things like that could be dedicated for specific uh, grades of prisoners. Or we could just put in a whole bunch more cells. But for right now, I think the way this is set up is looking pretty nice. So if we have uh, a nice big common room, maybe, that these guys would all want to use. Let's see, one, two, three, four. If I leave five, five in between... And then we have this same kind of thing here. Then I've got five wide in the middle, which we could divide in half-ish, or divide in thirds even, kind of. So this would be good for a common room. This could be good for maybe a gym. 
Uh, you could have, what was the size of the chapel? Was that seven by seven? Yes, six by six, I'm sorry. So that could possibly be a, a good thing to put in here if we were able to modify this at all. But this would allow us to also have laundry. Uh, we could have a separate security office for this cell block, or we could just put in a bunch more cells and then some guys would just not have windows, which I guess is fine. But uh, for all intents and purposes, I think this is probably okay. We could also integrate a, a cleaning closet since the prisoners are most likely going to be doing that. So what I'm thinking right now, cells around the outside, around the outside, etc. cetera. Uh, common room, flex space that we could turn into something later. Laundry, uh, cleaning cupboard, and then, I don't know, the dungeon in the center of this or something. I think that looks pretty nice. So if we were to do that, we would have to build this uh, as an entire building and then put in, I always want to go to rooms to put doors in. I don't know why. Uh, large jail doors here, here. Uh, backside, we probably don't want to have doors for quite yet. Uh, but since this is all secure, in theory, it doesn't really matter. And this should end up being pretty good once that is built. But now our, our guys are eating, or they're supposed to be eating. Maybe they're all done. They're not complaining about not being fed. So now it's work free time, and we just have to uh, hire an accountant once the bureaucracy researches finance. Deployment's almost researched. Uh, intelligence, we're going to queue up next. And then patrols, the security chief will take care of all that. And then, of course, we'll do remote doors. All that micromanagement. Um, yeah, that's going to be good. Have access to that. That'll be the next thing after finance. Uh, maintenance can, once we hire a chief, uh, engineer, foreman, whatever you want to call the guy, uh, then we can do the rest of these, I think. Um, probably cleaning is the most important one after we hire him. And then all this... We got a lot to work through here. Got a lot to work through here, so let's let them go ahead and take care of that. I will hire the accountant. There we go. So we finished that grant, which means we can uh, get a couple more. All right, cell block A. That's what we're about to do. Expand our capacity. It's going to be more than 15 by the time that's done. But now, um, let's see. Staff well-being initiative, staff room, five guards without assigned duties. That just immediately researched. All right, cool. <laughs> love, love to get a free grant. That is A-OK -okay by me. Uh, inmate health and well-being is going to be medical ward. We can't quite get that yet. Uh, prison maintenance, uh, we're not going to be able to have all that quite yet. Uh, visitation rights, visitation room. Uh, three visitors tables, common room, pool table, two TVs. Uh, we might get to that in a second here. But cell block A, I think, will be a good one. Um... You know, maybe we'll just maybe we'll just go ahead and do this, because then I can actually make my visitation room. All right, visitation across the nation. No touching allowed. Uh, visitor table. Let's just pop these guys in here. I guess we can we can look at the uh, the prisoners while they have this done right there. So that'll be nice. They'll appreciate visiting with their families. And then we have to have a common room, which is one of the things we're going to plan on putting in here. So we might as well go ahead and just uh, designate... Oh, I can't until it's indoors. Never mind. <laughs> I had uh, I had my ideas, and they did not uh, necessarily come to fruition. It is what it is. We'll have to wait. But we are... Uh, wait, five phone booths? Well, I guess those can go in common rooms and canteens. That'll be fine. So we're getting somewhere, and uh, hopefully, by the time uh, I'm out of time for this video in a few minutes, we'll have... a. Uh, a nice cell block here that our prisoners can enjoy. Now, hold on. Did the lights, did the auto lights actually all go into it? Okay, so these are going to have to be fixed. But man, we almost, we almost <laughs> had a successful uh, automatic light placement. Well, you know what that means. Um, I've got to... <laughs> oh, they haven't, even, they haven't even placed them in place. Um, can I... Uh, yeah, I just canceled all these. Dismantle the light, dismantle the light. You know the drill. Dismantle the light. And then we're going to undismantle the light. And by undismantle, I mean place the light in the first place. Just put this right here in the center. Just so nobody is living in the darkness here. And uh, also so nobody can leave comments saying that I'm the Prince of Darkness. Or whatever you want to call it. i uh, like to avoid that if at all possible. But now we have space here. to Put in. Oh, nope. Can't do that. Can't do that. 
I've got to have got to have everything be in the correct spot because I don't know why. But that looks decent to have that like so. I guess I can put a decent number of lights here. I have that on that side. I, I don't have to always have this stuff be completely symmetrical, I don't think. But for some reason, I always end up doing it that way. That's fine. That's the way it goes. We'll just put these lights in regular places. So everything can be nice and illuminated. And then we'll have them build... Well, I guess... Uh, leave two spaces in between. Eh, nope, that's not going to not gonna fly. Not going to fly with me here. That works. That'll be fine. Alright, so we just have the dungeon in the middle to take care of. Uh, let's build the walls. Build the plans, brick walls. And then I will have to put in jail doors, which I always want to think are in office. Office objects. Alright, jail doors. Um, let's just put these in the center of the cell on the wall side. I'll show you why in a second when we put our items in place. But if this ends up being a successful uh, cell block design, then we can just copy-paste this thing, man. <laughs> Make it nice and easy. Just put this here, right like so, right like so. Uh, common area can have regular doors. All of these things can just have regular doors. Uh, no reason not to. And I'll just have that be a pass-through so we can get access to everything. That's going to be super nice when that's done. I think we can feel very, very good about how this is going to be set up. So we'll put our power cable through here. And then I will run this along the side just to make sure it can get into everything. I think it will, unless we have to go through the center. But that should look quite nice. Oh, we have to have the guards come unlock these. I guess I could, uh, for the time being, just manually open the door for these guys uh, so they can get in. Actually, I could just... Um, I can just lock open while they're building it. That's going to be easier. And once we have the walls in place, I guess we could uh, we could four times speed through this. Uh, get the walls in place, and then we can actually make proper cells. But um, where's my... Uh, it's not going to show me the comfy beds. I do want to invest in the comfy beds. I feel like that's a nice thing to do. So a uh, common room we decided was going to go up here. Now that I can actually place it. And it literally is the only requirement to have a common room is to have a common room. Uh, pool table. Pool table. I will not put it up against the wall. Don't worry. <laughs> Some people seem to be uh, rather uh, upset about that. But that's okay. I would be too if I had to play pool in the corner and climb on top of the thing, break the slate, and then you know you have a riot on your hands. But that is... Um, we must reduce the amount of prisoners in our holding cells. I know. I'm. We're working on it, man. We're working on it. <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm doing my best here. Uh, we need two TVs, huh? Uh, large TVs, why not? Just put those two right there. Uh, give them a lovely wide sofa directly in front of the TV so they can sear their retinas into oblivion. And then um, five bone booths. One, two, four. We'll just put those there. And then the general... I don't I actually don't know if they'll use it if it's not in the uh, common area. All right. They wanted at least four. I'll build six. All right, so we're going to get... That's going to complete our visitation thing. Um, this is a pretty dirty prison, man. That's, <laughs> that's pretty gross, not going to lie. Um, let's do cells. Cell, 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 cell. Speaking of Dragon Ball Z. Um, no. That'll get divided up once the walls get put in place. Now I can actually have access... Look at Look at these comfy beds, man. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you like to uh, have a nice, comfy sleep in a comfy bed? Uh, who died, first of all? How dare you? Oh, did you overdose? Okay, yep, that would... Um, that guy kind of looks like uh, Conan O'Brien. Um, that's, I guess, kind of unavoidable until we have our uh, our medical stuff. But I will, I will slow this down while we are uh, placing things so we don't uh, have too much time go by. If these guys are, in fact, going to overdose... Don't need to expedite that process. All right, so then we'll just uh, put these guys in here. We're spending a lot of money on these comfy beds, but it's worth it. A good night's sleep is a very important thing uh, for maintaining and promoting healthy mental space. 
So other things cells need toilet. <laughs> that's that's all the thing really cares about. But uh, we're going to put a toilet and a shower in every single cell. So these guys can have some privacy and get clean whenever they want. Another way to improve their well-being. We'll just pop this in like so. And we're going to have a little bit of extra space in the cells uh, to put in some other creature comforts. But uh, don't forget that this is not going to be the ultimate cell. This is just what we're building right now. We'll have some nicer ones maybe in next week's episode since we are very close to running out of time here. But it could be nice to have a wing with very, very large cells where guys can have bookcases and all sorts of other fun stuff. Get their, uh, their prison laptops <laughs> that are just clear plastic and you can't really do anything with them. But uh, so on and so forth. They want to spend their commissary money on that. That is their prerogative. But here we'll go with our drains. We'll have to do our piping and stuff as well, but that will not be a big issue. And then we will also come in and put metal detectors and the like in. Um, looks like everything can get reached with power, which is great news. Uh, we're going to have to have water. I'm not going to have that go underneath the thing. I guess it also won't let you. So that's fine. We'll have this run that way. And then... Um, I know the, the pipe won't let you reach all the way with the small small format and get as far out as uh, we need it to go. So we are going to have to have the trunk pipe going all the way up there. It's just for the sake of actually, you know, having stuff go correctly, I guess we'll just guess we'll just have a loop. Why not, right? Just uh, get it done and then we'll have this run all the way out the outside here. Uh, cross around here, cross around here, and then we'll have another thing there. I don't think, I don't think the pressure is going to reach all the way to the center, uh, so I will uh, put another little loop there. That should take care of all of our water and all of our power needs, and make these into cells that could actually be used uh, once that's installed. So let's go ahead and okay, they're getting. Uh, oh, I don't have a psychologist yet. Okay, that's why. <laughs> but that will take care of. Um, Everything. Oh, and the guy who replaced the guy that overdosed is coming in at some point in the morning. So it would be nice if we had actual spaces. 26 of these, I think, is what the math ended up working out to. Uh, look at all this. Look at all this stuff they're delivering. It would be nice if we had all that taken care of. But we can go ahead and get another grant. Um, oh, yeah. that This one takes forever. The Reform Through Education Initiative, as we learned. But Inmate Health and Well-Being is going to require the medical ward. We don't have a spot for that yet. Although we could pretty easily actually just put this right here both of those are uh, taken care of go back out of four times speed um, so why don't we do inmate health and well-being that'll be a good uh, last thing to put in today and then um, prison maintenance we haven't researched yet um, but uh, so block b is 50 yeah, we're not gonna be there quite yet that only says 19 because we haven't installed the rest of our uh, our toilets yet but why don't we just go ahead and do prison maintenance? We'll get that cash. Not that we need the cash. We have tons of money already. Uh, these guys... Oh, I always forget I have to have a psychologist. Uh, but I'm going to need to have a foreman. And that'll be the fourth uh, the fourth office. And we're going to want to have some more guys at some point pretty soon. Uh, psychologists, we have not uh, even gotten to research yet. But once that happens, I think we're going to be expanding this... Or we could possibly uh, turn this into two more offices as well, depending on how we want to have stuff set up. But uh, stuff is quite nasty. It is very, very dirty around here. Cleaning is being unlocked because I just hired this guy. Uh, what does this one say? Groundskeeping, uh, janitors, and gardeners. So I guess, I guess we can go ahead and just queue this up. Prison labor we're not worried about yet. Uh, psychology, I don't have a place to put him yet. But health... Uh, we can go ahead and research. This will be the uh, only thing this guy's working on, and then prison policy after that. But that should should work. Let's make a medical ward. It doesn't have to be huge. It does not have to be huge. But uh, if we have, I, I guess I could just pause this. Uh, if we take a look at our medical ward here, um, somewhere, yes, yeah, so the psychiatrist office is a completely separate. That, that's what I was talking about earlier. All right, uh, med... Wait, what? Oh, it's infirmary, not medical ward. Okay. 
indoors medical bed. I have to have health research to actually build it, but there's no size requirement. So, um, in the interest of having uh, space for stuff, uh, this is going to be the, uh, what do you call it? The uh, janitor's closet, whatever. I, I think that'll probably work out fine long-term. Uh, gardener, oh, we can plant trees if we build a forestry. And then we can we can grow the wood and to grow the wood, grow the trees, get the wood, and then we can make our superior beds and sell those for profit. Uh, but the trees don't take too long to grow, so we don't need to worry about that quite yet. Uh, this space right here, I think, would be a good place for infirmary that we haven't researched yet. And then uh, I don't know what else we could really put in here. What was our uh, what was our measurement on this? Eight. Oh, you know what? You know what? Uh, we could have a chapel. If uh, we have a seven by seven space just to use up this uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this could be a chapel, but that's going to be a really small infirmary. So maybe we just make this whole thing, whole thing a chapel because we have all this space too. I know we can make a bigger canteen and we will need to eventually. So maybe, maybe we just kind of leave this alone and not have the chapel here. We could put the chapel. Uh, well, this isn't big enough anyway. We, we can we can figure something else out. We can make a separate chapel building if we want, make it look like a church or a other place of worship, whatever is uh, most relevant to you. Then we could uh, figure that out later. So yeah, I think this being an infirmary would probably be smart long-term to have all this space. Uh, so we will need to get uh, medical beds in here. I don't think I can build yet. No, I cannot. I have to have health unlocked. All right, so turbo, turbo speed mode it goes. Just get all this stuff taken care of. Um, built to 10. I guess what I could do is I could just have the intake uh, fill capacity so we can have another 12 uh, medium security guys. That I think would be nice. So common room is done. Uh, do I have the option to do laundry yet? I don't see it unlocked. It probably is and I just can't find it because you know how that goes. Let's, uh, oh, LS is not how you spell laundry. And it's also not unlocked. All right, cool. Uh, I think that will become unlocked as soon as cleaning is finished, which will be shortly. Health will also be finished shortly. Uh, remote access, uh, we can do all that next time. We're, <laughs> the video's already over an hour. But uh, we have been very productive today, which has been nice to get all this stuff taken care of. Um, so I'm just going to do... Okay, we'll do, a, uh, we'll do a staff door. I think that'll be fine. So infirmary, 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 where are you? Oh, morgue. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, I think that's um, that's what we're going to be doing. That's what we'll do with the extra space. <laughs> we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll put a morgue, but I won't make them walk through it. That would be kind of mean. Um, there we go. We'll just, we'll just put a couple slabs, put them on ice down here in the corner. Infirmary here. No real reason to have it this huge, but uh, you know the drill. Just got to do what you got to do. Medical bed, medical bed. Just put them like this. That's fine. Uh, morgues, morgue slab. we we'll just put four right like that. No real reason to do anything else. And then staff-wise, doctor, doctor. So that will take care of... Ah, yes. The psychologist needs an office. Well, friends, I think um, I think that's what we're going to end up doing with this space here. I uh, I did not originally intend to do it this way, but uh, that's what we're going to do. We'll just go ahead and have our uh, our office desks ready to go. Might as well. The psychiatrist office we'll have to put in the mentally insane wing that we'll end up um, end up building at some point. But we'll zone this as an office. It's not SimCity. Why do I say zones? That'll work out just fine. Uh, get these guys ready to go. I actually don't uh, don't know when they'll be able to get that done. I think they're going to be working on the rest of this. But once we have the psychologist, then that'll all be taken care of. They still haven't installed all these pipes yet, which is uh, interesting. I need to have more guards. I need to have them patrolling. Where's the, where's the guy running down here? What's up with that? General quality of the cells is too low. I know, man. We're working on it. We're working on it. You, you got to trust the process. And now these guys are really angry because there's not enough guards. Do I have space? I do. Five more guards. Get those guys done. 
Uh, these guys that are shackled, do they have solitary? Ah, because I don't have solitary set up yet. So, all right, not not your fault. I don't have solitary cells. So we'll just end your solitary punishment so you don't, you know, starve to death in the reception room. Not that I've ever had that happen before or anything. Definitely not. Um, what is this waiting on? Minimum size 4x4. Four four. Did I not um, Did I not designate all of this as an office? Is that what that was? There we go. Okay, so now I can hire a psychologist. Um, no, I can't because it isn't researched yet. <laughs> all right, well, that's, uh, that's my fault. Six hours. Go ahead and uh, let that speed through. And then we'll we will absolutely have to wrap this up because this, this video is already uh, already getting kind of long. But we've made some great progress. We really have. I think we can be pretty uh, pretty satisfied with that. All right. So how are we doing on psychology? Still about half left. Uh, these guys don't need to worry about quite yet. Legal orderlies we're not going to need. Uh, going to go ahead and research uh, remote access. And then all of that, but we will we will actually flesh that out next time. We'll we'll see what we can get to. I want to know why our water. Is, oh, wow! I'm <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's that's absolutely my fault for running the pipes in the wrong spot. But uh, this is all looking pretty good. Seems like we got some visitors. Very nice. Love to see that. Um, psychologist, I can hire. Oh, and then you went to the other one. All right, that's uh, that's fine. Prison needs cleaning. Are you sure about that? Um, that looks looks pretty okay. But now that we have the psychologist. We can do, uh, yeah, environment. These guys don't like dirty conditions. Who would? So we'll get that cleaned up. But I believe, I believe, friends, this is a pretty good starting point for. Uh, oh, I guess I need to hire the janitors so we can actually get all this. Uh, all this done. There we go. Cleaning cupboards. We'll get this done right up here. And that'll be A-OK. -okay. And then the laundry will come later as soon as we get everything else taken care of. Unless it already exists and I'm just dumb. Always a possibility. Nope, it has not been researched because we don't have prison labor. Well, or it has not existed because we haven't researched prison labor, I guess I should say. So... That is looking pretty good. Um, I am going to go ahead and assign a guard to uh, to this area so they can open that. Assign a guard here. And then uh, we don't have enough guards to really assign too much, but I just have those guys uh, so they can open those doors. And I think uh, everything is good for right now. We don't have any grants that are unfulfilled. We'll get those taken care of. So, yeah, uh, good start to our second prison. And we still have, believe it or not, Thanks to the grants, we still have almost as much money as we started with. And things are looking a whole lot better. Cells are going to be a little bit nicer once we get windows in place. And we get uh, all sorts of other improvements, the comfy pillows and all that all that lovely stuff. But this is a great spot to leave it. As always, uh, I do appreciate uh, helpful advice, comments, questions, etc. down below. I do read all of them, can't always respond. But I do appreciate you taking the time to interact as well as just to be here in general. It's always fun to get to play games and share it with you guys. So I'm thankful for that opportunity, thankful for the Beard Boosters as well, who make it possible for us to continue uh, doing all this stuff together and make it a little bit more stable for me to do YouTube. I guess technically not really my full-time job, but it's uh, getting closer and closer that way. And it's uh, very, very, very nice to be able to uh, have that kind of security. And I'm very thankful for those folks and you as well, even if you're not part of that. So whatever it is you're doing with the rest of your day, stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you next week for more Prison Architect and tomorrow for more Timberborn. We've got games every day of the week, and we've got all sorts of fun stuff planned. So hope to see you there. Again, stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.